Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with a new video. This video is all about a very important CMS. So this CMS name is Unicam for PC. So in this video, we are going to describe what is Unicam for PC and what is feature and characteristic and what are the what are its minimum system requirement. And after that, we move to our practical parts means how you don't get the file how you download the file and how you install them and finally how you configure them to make the camera live so keep watching till end please like share and share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one so let us start so what is the first thing is what is unicam for pc basically it is a it is a cms it is a turkish application the name of the company is proms electronic security the cms wizard is a design and manufactured by this organization it is a very effective application that is giving up a around the clock production the cms can fix picture sharing problem it can improve our video resolution and communication system it support cloud based recording so if you if you if you know about the cms the cms is content management system a cms wizard share a basic setup choices and function that become instrumental in creating modifying digital content document and data the cms any cms will record info index them search and retrieve them access them revise them publish them and report them it shows the usability of the wizard it so if we talking about its feature then this wizard perform an exceptional way to give us full supervision there are the varied video streaming modes supported by this cms it relay but it relay live videos there is no interruption means it auto adjust frame rate and bandwidth it shows you continuous relay without any time lag the application can record activities and playback them it support the ptz camera i mean you are able to take pan tilt zoom the images of the camera the wizard can take snapshot show playback it can sense activities it can even sense motion and audio it can send you alert messages notifications etc this software support two way audio if your camera is audio enabled to add the device to this app scan the qr code this software can be zoomed in or on object to circums instantly mark thing so if i talking about system requirement then at least you need 4 gb ram and a minimum i3 processor and a, 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 around 500 mb hard disk space so let's move to your practical part the first first thing you should do you should open chrome browser or any browser and search for unicam for pc press enter when you press enter one of the my favorite websites comes up in ups in google result name ccdbdesk.com just open this file and after that scroll down a little here you find i'm um, for mac os and for windows definitely i have a windows so i go for the windows operating system just click on this when i click on this it will wait for a 10 second And after that, it will redirect me to another page. Now here you find now your your setup start downloading. Let the down let the download process to be finish. Once it once it is it is finish, we will. move to our next part means how you install them and configure them now click on this and click show in folder after that you, you get your file now right click on the downloaded file and click extract When you click extract, you get the folder name same as the file name. Just open this folder. Again, this open this folder, and now here is your downloaded file. The side click on the downloaded file, or the right click on the application file or installer or the or exe file. Just like that, and click as 
run as administrator. After that, click yes. Now click next. Again next. Again installed. And wait for a few a few seconds. Once it is completely installed, you get the successful notification about that. Now it is downloaded. Now click finish. When you click finish, here you find your shortcut. Just double click on, on this. And click yes. Now it asks for a username and the password. Here you can change the language according to your choice. So I I change according to my my location. So it asks for username and password. Just put username and password and click auto login and save password and the default username is admin and password is default password here you find your option and the first thing you should you should do is that just change the revolution of my system because So firstly I would like to change my resolution of my system so that it can be fully visible. Now open the software. Now you are able to see almost all the thing. Okay. So first thing you should you should find is that device management. So just open this and here you found many options. Just click on this. When you click on this you find a many option like my DDNS. So if you enable DDNS on your device, then this uh, enable use this option. Here you put the device name, here you put DDNS, username, password of the device. In my case, I have a IP domain. So I use my IP. So here you can put any name according to your ease. And here I should enter my IP address. If you have a static IP, you also enter this here. And after that, the port number. This is port number of your device. Here it asks for username. This is the username of the device. Means the device we are adding. It is, it is it may be and if you are in your IP can. And the password again is the password password of the device. Means book means you are whatever you are adding device. Man, DVR, NVR, or IP cam. Click add, and after that, again go to the control panel and just click on the live view. And here you find just enable the play button, and your camera is live. Here is the live. Thanks for watching.